Hello, welcome again to Everyday Affairs. You're welcome on board this morning, and it's an interesting news. Uh, the popular miracle working pastor arrested, Pastor Odumeje, arrested over charm buried in church premises. All right, before we move forward today, I'd like to encourage you to please subscribe to this channel if today is your first time uh, coming across this channel or peradventure you've been watching the news but you're yet to subscribe. I crave your indulgence to so please um, drop by and uh, subscribe to this channel and also hit the bell icon so that you get notifications whenever we post a new story. Thank you. All right. Police arrested Pastor Odumeje over a charm buried in church premises. The police in Anambra Onicha arrested one Apostle Chukwemeka Ohanaemere Odumeje on Friday for allegedly burying charm in his church premises in Anambra. News reports were gathered that the identity of what the suspect buried was unknown, though residents around the church located along 88B, Bida Road in Onicha, alleged it was a live animal. The police took away the suspect to avoid being lynched by angry residents who attempt to storm the church. An eyewitness, Ebuka, Oklahoma, said his father woke him up around 2 a.m. on Thursday night to watch what the pastor was doing. According to him, the pastor buried something in front of the church and later performed a little ritual by walking around the church several times. Confirming the report, the Police Public Relations Officer of the Edo State Police Command, DSP Osifo Abiodun, said the suspect was under investigation. The spokesman explained that the suspect has made useful statements that will assist the police in their investigation. All right, viewers and listeners, um, a lot of us uh, probably know uh, the alleged suspect, Pastor Chukwemeka Odumeji. He's been, uh, he's been in the social media, he's been in the news, uh, you know, for his, um, um, for his charismatic way of um, performing miracles and, um, you know, doing things his own way. And uh, I think he's nicknamed the lion or something thereabouts, or the tiger, something within that, uh, uh, neighborhood of names uh, so he's popular and um, in the in Nigeria especially in Onitra and um, he has traveled to several countries and um, he's known he is known to have healed uh, a lot of celebrities and uh, people who have suffered who have suffered so many uh, issues and stuff like that well, I don't know, but that's the story so far right now, that um, he was seen buried something in front of the church, and um, the community raised alarm, and um, he's been uh, called, they called, they called the police, and uh, from what we are hearing, that he's been arrested and um, taken to the police station, where they said useful information have been extracted from him. Now, what would have led to such thing being done? A lot of people will start reacting and commenting. We don't know how true it is. If he actually was bearing something or if he was performing ritual, it's still an alleged story or alleged um, situation. We are not sure, but you know, um, the reason why we're reporting this is to alert the public of um, things like this and um, so that you, people don't keep believing everything you see on social media. No one is judging the man. No one, no one is, uh, for me, I'm not judging the man. Let me not say no one. But for me personally, I'm not judging the man yet because until he has been taken to court, or until he's been charged, I beg your pardon, taken to court, you know, um, and proven guilty. But that being said, we know, those of you that are conversant with Nigeria, we know what Nigerians are capable of or what some Nigerians are capable of when it comes to 
issues like this. The truth of the matter is that there are still some issues that are still even in court as of today. I don't know how many of us are aware of um, the Sobitire um, church issue in Undo State where a child, you know, was alleged to have, to have been missing in the church premises. Till today, um, the, 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 the head of the church or the owner of the church, uh, Alpha something, is in police custody or is still in, in, is still under detention for a child of about six, probably between four to six or eight years, you know, was missing. It was alleged that children normally get missing in that church. And it was also alleged that probably the child was used for ritual. Now, the truth of the matter is that only God knows who serves him or who is serving him. Only God knows who his true uh, members are. A lot of people venture into different things in the name of making money, in the name of fame, in the name of uh, being recognized in the society. If Apostle Chukwe Mekau Dumeji has actually, you know, dipped his hands into rituals or what have you, I don't know. I don't have the details. I don't have the true story. Uh, I cannot authoritatively say what it is an alleged situation. Those who were there or those who heard the story have reported it. He said they saw him burying something in the front of the church. It could be, someone said, animal, a live animal. What kind of animal? Why does he have to be burying an animal in front of the church? What does that signify? What does that portray? is the question we need to ask ourselves. Bearing a live animal in front of the church, what will that yield or what will it result into? I don't know. But I just think that people need to be careful about what they do, where they go to, and um, how they move around. Calling the name of God, anybody can call the name of God. Anybody can receive God's blessing it is God who blesses, not human being. Definitely God will use human being to bless. But we need to stay true to God. And if you're a Christian, that is to say, if you're a Christian, you need to stay true to God. And understand that it is God who blesses without adding sorrow. God will never ask any man to go bring anything for him to get blessed. Take, for example... We are uh, a lot of us slept and we awoke this morning. Did you pay God anything to wake up this morning? Did you go to anywhere? Did God tell you to give anybody anything for you to be able to wake up this morning? Sleeping and waking up is a blessing of the Most High God. So we need to understand that regardless of what people say or what some men of God preach, it is God that blesses. If you know what you're doing, you don't need anybody to cajole you into doing what is not to get the blessings of God. The blessings of God are without repentance. God has blessed every one of us. From the day we were conceived, God has created us a blessing and he has blessed us with the blessing of himself. So people need to be careful how they run after miracles. People need to, care, to be careful how they run after men of God. People need to be careful how they run after churches. There is no church in heaven. There is no man of God in heaven. We all serve one true living God. Any other thing that anybody does in the name of God, he will give account. Nobody is more um, godly than the other person. We all just only need to purge ourselves and put ourselves in tune and in the right position for God. Nobody hears from God better or, or nobody has a monopoly of hearing from God. I think that is the right sentence I mean to, I mean to uh, say. Nobody has the monopoly of hearing from, hearing from God. God speaks to everybody. God speaks to anybody. God can speak to anybody. If we make ourselves available, if we listen, 
if we pay attention and listen, you will hear God's voice and you hear God speaking. So nobody, no pastor has the monopoly of hearing from God. We must have that understanding. So why does Pastor Chukwemeka Odumeji has to bury something in front of his church, if that is true? What does he intend to achieve with that? We need to be careful where we go to, how we do things, who we run to, and who we we'll expose ourselves to. The Bible says, let them all grow together, the wheat and the chaff. Then when that time comes, there will be a time whereby the wheat will be separated from the chaff. That is to say, both the good and the bad are allowed to grow. So the time will come where the good ones will be separated from the bad ones. This is just um, an eye-opening and an alert to people to be careful about things that are happening around them and where they go to all in the name of worshiping God or all in the name of serving a pastor or all in the name of working for one man of God. Everybody has access to the throne of grace. Everybody has access to God. You pray from your room, God hears you. You pray on the street, God hears you. You pray in the, the kitchen, God hears you. You pray on the road, he hears you. That is God. He is a universal and sovereign God. Well, these are my views and my opinion on this particular news story. I'd like to hear from you what your thoughts are. Please do not forget to drop by at the comment section to leave your comment and also share this news story with friends, family, relations, and loved ones so that they can get to know what's happening. You might just be saving somebody you, or you might just be educating somebody. Information is key and the information would go around if we share and do not keep it to ourselves. Just like I have done now, I've related this message to you. In turn, share it to other people so that they can get to know what is happening. Thank you so much for your time and your support. We appreciate you. And I say God bless you. Have a wonderful day and a happy 